Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Will. This is Will of the Nerds and we're back with another deck tech video. And in this one we have, uh, we're doing insects. So we are going to go through and do my insect deck. I want to uh, make sure I'm going to separate the lands here real quick before we get jumping into it. Um, this is a tricolor deck. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the name of it is, like the actual proper name. So uh, it's just going to be called insects. Eh, eh, eh. All right. So new deck, new deck, maybe new deck. home uh i don't know it, it froze it is loading um refresh the page technical difficulties um okay so there you see what uh some of my content up there is we're going to deck stats decks my decks New deck. There we go. Okay. That's better. And insects. A casual. Okay. And we are going to uh, start with the lands. Of course, we'll do the basic lands first. So I'm going to separate all of those real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Um, okay. Okay. I, I, I saw that and I thought it was white for a second. I was like, I shouldn't have any planes in here. That doesn't make sense. Why would I have planes in here? Um, okay. So we have forest to start with. Because that was what was on top. So that is what we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 forests. Huh, there was more forest there than I thought. I thought there was only going to be 10. There's not. There's 12. Enter. They are full art. Can I? Um, no, not Zendikar Rising. It's a battle for Zendikar is what most of them are. Because I just want to see how much they are. Uh, sure, that's, that's what they're going to be. Um, okay, and we have two mountains and two swamps. So... Backspace to enter. Swamp. Backspace to an enter. All right, so we're up to 16 lands. And we have a playset of Golgari Guild Gates. Uh, there we go. Guild Gate. Um, oh, wow, they're actually all from the same set. Which is Jesus Christ. Return to Ravnica four of them and then we have four gruel guild gates which look like they might all be from the same set too and they are wow what are the chances is it to use it is to use gruel guild gate a boom two three four these are from i don't know dragon's maze I'm, I'm dumb today. I don't remember anything. Jesus Christ. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll do the green cards first because that was what was on top. And that's what we have the most of. So I guess we'll just do that. And I got to separate everything here real quick. Uh, okay, almost done. And that is that. Yeah, it's mostly green cards. Okay, so now I need to find all of them and separate them into where they need to go. There's one. Okay, so we have two of this card. Uh, our first card, which is the main, main reason why I made this deck, was Hornet Queen. I had two of them. I didn't know what to do with them, and I was like, ah, you know what, I'll just make a uh, insect deck. Because it just it's really the only thing it kind of fit in it makes tokens but i 
don't really have a lot of token engine decks. Um, flying Death Touch, when it enters the battlefield, put four 1-1 one, one green creature tokens with Flying and Death Touch onto the battlefield. So, I was like, eh, why not? I'll make an insect deck. I fucking hate insects. Don't ask me why I did this. I hate myself, I guess. Because insects are just freaking creepy looking, and I hate it. But I hate myself even more. Okay. Um, we have two of these. I don't think that this deck actually, I think it won when I played it. Because that was surprising. I didn't, I was not expecting this deck to do, to do very good. Um, we have Bond Beetle for our next card. Magic 13. Does it do anything special? When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Chances are it's probably going to be that because it's a one drop. Unless I have a big creature out, then that's what it's going to get one. Um, I do really like this next card. And I was able to play. This is what won me the game, actually last time when i when i first played this deck i played it once it is one and oh and i don't know the next time i'm gonna play this deck um so crash of rhino beetles i thought there was a crash of rhinos okay i'm, I'm not crazy i thought there was that's an old card too okay uh crash of rhino beetles is a commander card so it is not legal in this all right, what does it do? Trample, Crash of Rhino Beetles gets a plus 10, plus 10, as long as you control 10 or more lands. And um, when I played it, I did control 10 or more lands, so it was a 15-15 with Trample. And that's what won me the game, boys and girls. All right, so on to the next card. I believe there is only two of these, because you know how much I like playing two ofs, unless I really like the card. Uh, I think I had these ones too, and I didn't have anything to put them in, so I was like, I, I had most of these cards. I think I bought Crash of Beetles, Crash of Rhino Beetles, and then like a couple other cards, and that was that was it. So we have Zanted Swarm for two of. They are both from the uh, Eternal Masters. Eternal Masters, okay. It is. Uh, flying, when it attacks, defending player can't cast spells this turn. So that helps um, with instants on the back end whenever it attacks. So that is very helpful. Next we have a card. This is from Syndicar Rising, I think. And it it is a uh, one of those flip cards, too. So we have Vast Wood. Fortification and Vastwood Thicket for a two of. A boom, a boom. I don't know what the back end does. I don't know. Oh, okay, it shows it. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature, and then I think it's a land. But uh, I don't need the land, so it's in here as that. I think, I don't know the rolling. If it comes back to your hand, I don't know if you can flip it or not. If you were to get it back. I don't know if you can do that. I'm not sure. I don't know the ruling. I'm not a judge. Don't take my word on that. All right. And the only card we have a playset of, which I think I even got more of these, in all honesty, is Scoot Swarm. And they're all from different sets. Of course they are. All right. Um, so Scoot Swarm 1 is definitely not that one is it that one it is that one um the next scoot swarm is most definitely that one um oh oh no i only have two scoot swarms the other ones are are the mob okay okay you know strike strike what i said it's not a play set it's uh two different things uh, this one has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token. If you control six or more lands, uh, create a token that's a copy of Scoot Swarm instead. That's actually not bad. I don't remember that ability. Um, but the next one is Scoot Mob, which is why I uh, thought I had four different coffee, copies of it, which I guess there was four different copies. Um, the one's from the dual deck, and the other one is from... 
Bomb on Ket? Hour of Devastation? Oh, that one. Yeah. I was close. It came out at the same same time. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control five or more lands, put four plus one plus one counters on Scoop Mob. So, I mean, it's nice to get them out. They get out quick, but they, they could get very big very quickly, which is nice. And if uh, no, if, if you're playing the multiplayer, people might not be paying attention, and they look over, and next thing you know, you got a giant freaking creature. Okay, next we have giant Atophage, I believe is how you pronounce that, for a two of, and yeah, they're both from the same set. And where are you? There you are. Uh, it's from Gate Crash. One's from Gate Crash, so I believe that makes it legal, even though I have the commander versions of it. Uh, trample, when it deals combat damage to a player, create a token that's a copy of it. Uh, that is nice. So, like, there is a lot of token creation in this. More than I think. So, like, maybe if I put some, like, land fetch stuff in here instead of some of the other cards, like, maybe I can get rid of the... Uh, no, I have red. Maybe I can get rid of some of the black cards in here and throw in some red and some like land fetch stuff to get some land out quicker that would probably be a smarter thing to do actually that's probably something i'm gonna have to do fast wood surge where are you there you are for two of and they're both from the same set you're down here zendikar rising what do you do uh kicker you may Play an additional four mana. May pay an additional four mana. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Put them on onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle your library. If the spell was kicked, put two plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. Okay, so that's why that's in here. So um, there is that. So that helps. And then I looked at this next card. This next card helps too. Um, scale. The heights. I have two of them. So one, two. They're a bit high on the, the mana cost, but um, it's better than nothing. Put a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature, and uh, you gain two life. You may play an additional land this turn. Okay, so that does a lot for three mana. That's actually not bad looking at it. So you get a plus one, plus one counter on a creature. So you can either buff a small creature or buff a big creature. You gain two life. You can play another land and you get to draw a card. So like that might give you the, the edge right there to have Scoop Mob become a thing. Or your uh, Crushing Rhino Beetles become a thing too. So uh, yeah. So we have Slice in Twain. For a two of, are they from the same set? They are. They are from Ixalan, I believe. Rivals of Ixalan. It's from Ixalan. And destroy, oh, uh, destroy artifact or enchantment and draw a card. So I, I have basically an artifact and enchantment control deck, right? Because my friends play a lot of enchantments. They play a lot of artifacts, and I, it's a green and white. I'll get on here. I'll make it one day and I played that deck because knowing my friend he plays a lot of enchantments to buff his creature and he played a deck that did not have any enchantments or artifacts in it and uh, yeah that was that was not a fun game because I could not do anything because I was holding cards that were like destroy artifact or enchantment and I'm like well um, I can't do that because he ain't got nothing be a waste of time and blow my own stuff up so we have ant queen from M10. And let's see what she does. She is a 5-5. Five, five, but if we play pay 2 mana. Put a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token on the battlefield. And it's nice that she doesn't tap. So if I have a lot of extra mana. There we go. Just create more tokens. And Vorapede. Nope. I spelled that wrong. Okay. V-O-R-A-P. There we go. And they're both rather from different sets. One is from Commander, and the other one's from Dark Ascension. Boom. I want to see how much the one from Dark Ascension is. And 79 cents. Okay. Vigilance, Trample. It has Undying. Nice. Okay. So 
get it killed, bring it back, and then throw some counters on it and be all right. So the trample is actually pretty nice on that. All right, so we'll go to the black cards next. So let us see. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I can probably take... Eh, no, that red card I have in here isn't isn't terrible. It's not, not terrible. It's not the best, but, you know. Um, these black cards... The black cards I could probably take out and put in some... Uh, I could probably find some green cards to throw in here and just make it a gruel deck. Would probably be the the better thing to do. Um, eternal thirst. But I just had uh, some black insects. I was like, yeah, I'll just do that. But if I find any insects, other insects that I fit better, that's probably what I'll do. So I'll just take them out. Um, this is from M15. And enchant creature, enchanted creature has lifelink, and whenever a uh, creature and opponent controls dies, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. Um, I think maybe, so I I'm trying to think here. I have six cards, six cards if I were to get rid of them, put green cards in or red cards in. Maybe a burn spell, or more than likely a... Uh, Something that maybe draws a card and bolsters. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Draws draws card draws a card and bolsters. I think that would be probably the way to go. Um, we have Foundry Hornet. And if I can find you, there you are. You are Aether Revolt. Foundry Hornet. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it, creatures your opponent's control get a minus one, minus one till end of turn. It's not terrible. It's not the best thinking about it i probably have something that would rather bolster and get me to draw a card um swarm of uh blood flies two of them and they are both from cons you are down here cons of tarkir let's looky here um it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it whenever another creature dies put a plus one plus one counter on it i mean a five drop for an initial two two yeah, hindsight, like, that's not that's not a good card. So these black cards I'm probably going to take out and put some, like, plus one, some bolster or, like, counters or something like that. But um, I had two of these cards, which is why I also made an insect deck. Um, Giant Solifuge, I believe is how you pronounce it. And they're both from the same, they're both from Eternal Masters, too. Um, where are you? There you are. Eternal Masters, not that expensive, Trample, Haste, and Shroud, and uh, like that's the thing, this is probably where having something that just puts counters on would be a better thing, um, especially if I have maybe an, uh, an enchantment, you know, then I could just put counters as creature comes out, and then my tokens would benefit from it too, and then we have uh, Renegade... Um, tactics for the last card which could easily be switched out for a green card and it only has a little bit of red in for that one card but we have two of these they're both from uh, Aether Revolt maybe is that what it is it's Kaladesh I get them confused I don't know why um, it tap uh, target creature can't block this turn and you draw a card I mean that's not bad actually but there is the insect deck, so we're going to save this. Okay. And enchantments. Two enchantments, for instance, six sorceries and 24 creatures. Uh, look at the details. Yeah, I have a lot more red in here than what I need. I could probably take the swamps out. Um, I think I'm just going to take the, the black out in general. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, forest. Oh, wow. So... Those um, cheapest versions, one set, which I like. They've reprinted full art lands so much that they're they're pretty cheap now, which is nice. Okay. Um, what is the most expensive card? $1.40? Hornet Queen. So there you go. $23 deck. A cheap deck to make. It's actually pretty good, pretty effective. So uh, if you're on a budget, there you go. And uh, you might actually just find some deck, 
find some cards that you might really be interested in. Maybe you're trying to fill out a, a green deck and you need a couple cards. There you go. Uh, there's the visual spoilers for everything again. Scroll down. I think I have another one of these, so I'm probably going to replace all the black cards. So that's two, four, six black cards to replace. This will probably get replaced with something that gives counters and lets me draw a card. Slice and Twain might get to removed for something else. Maybe I can have something that destroys a creature. Um, I don't know if there is any of that in green, but... Um, may either that or I'll go with like Plummet or something like that. To destroy a flying creature. And... Um, there might be something that destroys a flying creature and lets me draw a card for about the same amount. Um, then maybe replace this with another creature. And then I don't know what I'll do with this. If I can find a green enchantment that gives plus one, plus one to creatures that come out or when a creature enters, put a counter on it. That would be nice. Or at the beginning of each upkeep, put a, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. That might be the way to go with that. Then my... Big creatures that have trample will benefit from it. Um, I don't have a whole lot of flying. Um, Hornet Queen is what's going to do most of the flying here. So I'm probably going to have to put a plummet in here. Plummet in it to help with that. But uh, let's go to the starting hand. Let's see what it is. That's actually really good. Um... We'll throw down the Girl Guild Gate. Draw a card. Um, Golgari Guild Gate. Draw a card. Swamp. Draw a card. Like it's it's not going good right now. We'll throw the mountain down. Draw a card. Okay. Forest. Then we could play that. Um, one, two. Three, four. We would need one more mana for that. But, um, yeah, we might as well tap our last mana and play that to make it a five. Five, two. Gives it a better defense. Uh, we're looking. I mean, we're close to that. Yeah, might as well throw that out. No, you know what? I'm not going to put that out. I'm probably. Let's play this. Because there's maybe a chance that it gets bigger. And um, whenever another creature dies, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. But um, I'd rather play this closer to when we have the lands for it. Uh, definitely playing that. That way when a land enters the battlefield under your control, we control five currently. So we get one more, we get to put another copy of this on. So we have an insect creature token. And that enters at six or more. We have another copy of it. And we're just going to... It's just going to create copies now every time we play a land. Um, we've probably done a little bit of damage, not a lot. We got another copy of Scoot Swarm. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands out. Um, probably Hornet Queen would be the best bet to go at this point. And then we have a bunch of tokens. And then next turn, look at that. Another Scoot Swarm. Swinging in with everything at this point by turn 9. Um, I don't know how many tokens you're going to have, but you're going to have at least 6 flying in the air going at them. 6, 7, 8 flying in the air. And um, they might eat... They might eat the tokens... So they're probably going to eat the smaller stuff. So you're doing four, maybe five, six, maybe seven damage. Because they're going to probably want to block this and kill it. And they might block this, but we have copies of it out. So, like, it's just, it's not going away now. It's out, Scoot Swarm, it's not going anywhere because we're just going to keep doing it. We have a copy of it, so it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing and growing. Um, Ant Queen, awesome. Um, 
I honestly, I probably play both of these on your bigger creatures just to get them out. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Um, I'm holding these. I'm going to keep swinging with all of my stuff, like all of my tokens. I'm just swinging with all of my tokens at this point. Um, we'll play that. Look at that. You got another Hornet Queen. I'm playing Hornet Queen again. Keep swinging with your tokens. You're probably doing a lot of damage at this point. You might actually... You you either got overwhelmed before you got anything good to play, or you've done enough damage to where you're probably going to kill them. Um, at this point, I probably play a Crashing Beetles just because it has Trample. And you're two mana away from getting it to have a, a plus 10, plus 10. Now you're one mana away from it. Um, I would maybe... I would play that just to get the card draw. And I would hold on to that for right now because that this is going to be the number one target more than likely because they see you have nine mana out. Uh, um, I'm honestly, I would hold it. I would just keep swinging with everything you got until your army gets low because, I mean, you've had four copies of Scoot Swarm out right now. So, yeah, there's another land. And then you have all your mana. So, this is where I probably play Crash of Rhinos. If this one isn't dead, this one's now a 15-15. And if that doesn't win you the game, it's definitely going to win you the game now. Um, so, I'm definitely going to get rid of these black cards and throw in some something that lets you search for mana. Or let you draw cards. Because that's definitely going to help to get the man out. But there's the probabilities. And uh, we will end the video there. So if you guys could please like, subscribe, share, hit that bell icon. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. You can follow me over on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are down in the description. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next one.